Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the optimized way to solve the tapping rainwater problem. So, in the earlier video, we discussed the dynamic programming and the brute force solution for the tapping rainwater problem. Now, in this video, we are going to solve this problem in O in time and O in space complexity, which is the optimized way to solve this problem. So, if you want to have a look on the dynamic programming and the brute force way to solve this problem, I will mention the link for that solution in the description section. So, for more interesting coding problems and solution, please subscribe to this channel. Now, let's solve our problem in the most optimized way. Given n non-negative integers representing an elevation map, where the width of each bar is 1, compute how much water it can trap after raining. So, here we are given a bar graph where the width of each bar is 1 and we need to find out how much water this whole bar graph can hold. The height of each bar is given by this integer array height. So, this first bar is having height 0, the second bar is having height 1, again the third bar is having height 0 and the fourth bar is having height 2, again this fifth is having height 1, sixth is 0. So, this height array is defining the height of each bar and the width of each bar is 1. So, for each bar, we need to find out the left maximum bar and the right maximum bar. So, we need to go for the both direction for each bar and compute the left max and right max. Why not we will traverse our bar graph from both the ends? not from one way traversal, we will do the two way traversal. One from the left to right direction and other from the right to left direction. Earlier we are doing just one single traversal that is starting from the left we are going to the right or starting from the right we are going towards the left. Now we are going to move in both the direction left and right. So we will having two pointers left and right. Initially, both these pointers will be pointing to the first bar and this will be pointing to the last bar. We are going to store the left max bar in a variable and we are going to store the right max bar in our max variable. So, initially this left max will be holding whatever the height denoted by the 0th index and this right max is holding the height whatever the height denoted by the last bar. So, this left max is going to hold the maximum left bar we have seen from the 0th index till the L index. And this right max is going to hold the maximum bar we have seen from the last index till the R index. So, I hope this is clear. So, now we are not doing one way traversal, we are doing two way traversal. We are traversing from the both the end of the array. And while traversing, we are going to maintain our left max and right max also. So, while moving the left pointer, if we see any bar greater than left max, we are going to update our left max. And while moving our R pointer, if we see any bar which height is greater than this R max, we are going to update our R max. So, in this way, we can manage our left max and right max. Now, how we can compute the water that can be hold on a particular bar. Now we are going to see the formula which we have derived earlier that the water that can be contained on a bar will be dependent upon the minimum of left max, right max minus the height of current bar. So this was the formula. So if we look closely, this water accumulation depend upon the minimum this minimum of left and right max. So, if left max is smaller than this right max, so the water contained will be left max minus height of the current bar. Or if right max is smaller than this left max, the water contained will be right max minus height of the current bar. So, what I am trying to say, if L max is smaller than R max, then water stored on our L bar is equal to L max minus height of the L bar if L max is greater than height of the L. Otherwise, we need to update our L max because this is not the maximum bar we have seen till the Lth bar. So, we need to update our L max. Otherwise, if our R max is smaller than or equal to L max, then water stored on R bar is equal to R max minus height of the R bar. 
if r max is greater than height of the r bar otherwise we need to update our right max because this right max is not the maximum bar which we have seen till the rth bar from the end so we need to update our r max and we do the increment and decrement operations and we need to perform this operation until our left and right bar crosses each other so now let's derive our algorithm we are going to do the dry run of our algorithm this is the example which we are going to consider and this is the bar graph corresponding to this example so this algorithm is going to take o n time and o n space complexity so initially we are going to declare five variables so the l variable will store the index which will visit next in the left direction and the r variable will store the index which will visit next in the right direction and left max is going to hold the highest bar which we have seen from the start till the lth index and r max is going to hold the highest bar which we have seen from the end till the rth index and water is going to hold the water contained by this whole bar graph so initially our l will be 0 and r will be the last index which is 3 in this case and l max will be 2 which is the height of first bar and r max will be 3 which is the height of last bar and water contained will be 0 now we are going to traverse our height array from both the direction that is from the left and right direction using this l and r pointer next we are going to compare our l max and r max if l max is a smaller than r max it means that the water stored on this l bar will be dependent upon this l max l max will decide how much water this l bar can contain because this is the maximum height in the left direction and in the right direction we have a height greater than right max but according to our formula which we have derived that height stored on a particular bar depend upon the minimum of left max and right max so the minimum is left max so that's why the water stored on this left bar can be calculated using this left max and this current l bar we don't required any other extra information so now we are going to go in this if part so again we'll check whether the height of this l bar is greater than left max then also we can't contain any water because this l bar is bigger than l max so there is no possibility we can contain any water because this is a bigger and left is all is smaller so we are not able to store any water so if this is the case if our height l is bigger than left max we need to update our l max so we are going to update our l max if this is not the case we can calculate how much water we have stored on our l bar by using this formula left max minus height of l and we are going to increment our left pointer otherwise if our right max is smaller than left max or equal to left max then our right max will be the deciding factor for the water storage on r bar because our left max is bigger than r max and according to our formula we need the minimum thing so r max is the minimum thing so we can easily calculate how much water we can contain on our r bar by using right max and the r bar we don't need any information in the left direction so we will fall in this else part and we need to again check whether height of r is bigger than r max if this is the case we need to update our r max otherwise we can calculate the water storage on our r bar using this formula and we need to decrement our r variable and we are going to repeat this step until our left and right pointer crosses each other and at last we are going to return water variable So let's do the dry run on this example. So initially our left max will be 2 and r max will be 3 which is the height of 0th bar and the last bar and l will be on the first bar and r will be on the last bar. Initially water accumulated will be 0. Now we are going to compare our left max and r max. So l max is smaller. So we are going to fall in this f part. So now next we are going to compare the height of l and the l max. so the height of l and l max both are 2 so this condition is so this condition is false so we are going to execute this else part so the water storage will be equal to 2 minus 2 so that is 0 and we are going to increment our left by 1 so our left will become 1 so now our left max is 2 r max is 
and left will increment it by 1 so left becomes 1 water is still 0 r is still on 3 now again we are going to compare our left max and right max so again left max is smaller so we are going to fall in this if part so again we'll check if height of l is bigger than l max so height of l is 4 so 4 is bigger than 2 so we need to update our l max so we update our l max to 4 and we'll increment our left pointer so left will become 2 so now our l max become 4 r max is still 3 l is on 2 r is on 3 water is still 0 now again we are going to compare our L max and R max. So here our R max is smaller than left max. So we are going to fall in this else part. So now we are going to compare if height of R is bigger than R max. So height of R is 3 and R max and R max is also 3. So we are going to store 0 water and we need to decrement our R pointer. So R will become 2. So L max is still 4, R max is still 3, left and right both are pointing to the second index and water is still 0. Again we will compare which one is smaller, left max and R max. So R max is smaller. So we will fall in this else part and again we will check is height of R is bigger than R max. So height of R is 1 and R max is 3. So this condition is false. So now we are going to calculate how much water we can contain on this R bar. So that will be R max minus height of R. So R max is 3, 3 minus 1. So that is 2. So water we can store is 2 and R will be decremented by 1. So R will become 1. Now our left and right. Now our left and right crosses each other. So we need to come out of our loop. So our final output will be 2. So in this way our algorithm is going to run. I know this is a complicated part. So we will do a dry run for one bigger example also. So suppose this is our bar graph. And initially our left max will be this particular height that is 0. And this right max will be this last bar which is 3. And our left pointer will be pointing to this. And our right pointer will be pointing to this one now if i am trying to compute how much water we can hold on this particular bar so it will be controlled by the minimum of the left max and the right max if the left max is a smaller than this right max this value it means that the water storage we can compute using only these two variables we don't require any other information from this bar graph we can compute the water hold on this current bar by subtracting this current bar height from the left max. So now we have computed the water accumulation on this bar. So we can move our left pointer to the next bar. So our L will come here. Now this left bar is holding a bar that has a height greater than the left max. So we need to update our left max. So we are going to update our left max to 1. And we will shift our left pointer to the next bar. Now again we will check whether our left max is greater or smaller. So our left max is still smaller than our right max because our right max is 3. So we can calculate the water accumulation on this particular graph using only these two information. This left max and this current bar, we don't require any other information because the water that can be hold on this graph will be will be controlled by this height. So if there is a bar bigger than this in the right hand side that doesn't matter because water will fall from the left direction because left is having height only this much. So we can calculate how much water it can hold. So the current height is 0 and left max is 1. So 1 minus 0. So we can hold 1 unit of water. Now we are going to shift our left pointer to the next bar. So next is having height 2. So this is greater than our left max. So we need to update our left max. Because, because while moving our left pointer, we need to update our left max also. If any point of time our left is pointing to a bar which is greater than left max, we need to update our left max. 
so we are going to update our left match from 1 to 2 and we can't store any water on this because because in the left side there is no bar that is greater than this current bar so we can't store any water so we need to shift our left pointer so now left will shift here and we are going to compare is it still our left max is smaller than right max yes our left max is 2 and right max is 3 so we are going to compute how much water we can store on this bar so this is current height is 0 so 2 minus 0 is 2 so 1 plus 2 so that is 3 now we are going to increase our left pointer so left is pointing to 3 which is having a bar that is greater than our left max so we need to update our left max so now our left max will become 3 now again we are going to increment our left pointer so now our left will point here now again we are going to compare our left max and right max so now left max and right max becomes equal so we fall in the else part so we are going to compute how much water we can hold on the bar pointed by r pointer so r is pointing to this last node itself so the r max is 3 and the current bar is also 3 so the water that we can hold is 0 and we need to shift our r pointer so r pointer will shift it here now again we are going to compare our left max and right max so right max is 3 so we fall in the again in the else part so now again we can compute for this right pointer how much the water we can how much water we can accumulate on this right pointer bar so this will be 3 minus 0 so this is 3 minus 0 so that will be 3 so 3 plus 3 is 6 now again we will increment our r pointer so r will be incremented to this bar now again we will check whether l max is smaller than r max no so again we will fall in the else condition now again we are going to see whether this bar that is pointed by the r pointer is smaller than this right max yes it's smaller so we can compute how much water that can be accumulated on this current bar so 3 minus 1 we can hold 2 unit of water so that is 8 and we are going to shift our right pointer so now our right and left pointer is pointing to the same bar graph again we will check for this left max and right max so we will fall in the else condition and we will compute how much water we can contain on this particular bar graph so 3 minus 3 is 3 minus 0 is 3 so 8 plus 3 so that is 11 so in total we can store 11 unit of water in this particular bar graph we can store one unit of water here we can store two unit of water here we can store three unit of water here we can store two unit of water here again we can store three unit of water here so 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 2 10 10 plus 1 11 so that's how we got 11 so what will be the time and space complexity so the time complexity will be o n we are doing just one traversal of our height array and the space complexity will be o1 we are just using three four variables itself so in this approach we are traversing our height array from the both direction from the left direction and the right direction and the water accumulation is controlled by what is the minimum in this left and right max if left max is smaller than the right max the water accumulation will be completely dependent on the left max so we can easily compute for the left hand side and for the, the right hand side if right max is smaller than this left max so the water accumulation in the right hand side will be controlled by this right max so we can compute using this right max variable yeah so let's code this out so initially we are going to create all our variables now we are going to traverse our height array from both the ends if l max is smaller than r max then we are going to calculate the water stored on the l bar because l max is the maximum height on the left side of the l bar and the water contained on l bar will be entirely depend upon the l max because r max is greater than l, l max deciding factor for the water contained on l bar is l max so let's write our condition otherwise if our r max is smaller than l max then we are going to calculate the water stored on our r bar because the water stored on r bar is now controlled by the r max and here we need to increment our left by 1 and here we need to decrement our right by 1 
and at last we are going to return water so yeah this completes our code let's run our code yeah so it's giving us correct thing let's submit our code yeah so it's got submitted it's efficient yeah so that's it for today i hope you found this video useful